I am here at Three Rivers Distilling Company and joining me now is the master distiller, Patrick Tineski. Hi, Patrick. Hello. Yeah, so we're over at the bar about to learn some fun things about your process. So let's start off by just share with me your job and what do you do when you're making the liquors? So what I'm primarily responsible for is the mashing and distilling of the products. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on what it is, figuring out the best way to make it, and then also uh, ensuring quality and consistency with the products. Mm, quality control yes, exactly. of the spirits. That's a hard job. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Somebody had to do it. <laughs> yeah, so share with me about the different types of liquors that, or spirits rather, that you make here. So we make uh, vodka, which is a neutral grain spirit. It, it essentially doesn't have any flavor and that's what you want. Okay. Uh, we also make gins, which are essentially just vodka, but infused with different botanicals to give it different flavors. Like floral essence. So, I mean, if you've ever had gin, it tastes like a Christmas tree kind of. Right, it's yeah. It's got that whole piney <laughs> thing. That is, juniper is primarily responsible for that. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of our lakeside, we actually use lavender, which will overtake that juniper and oh. give it a much more floral type essence. I love lavender, but who knew? Okay, so gin is vodka, just with some florals in it. Yes. That's interesting to learn, okay. What else? Uh, after that, we get into our whiskeys, um, and, and whiskey is essentially just a barrel-aged uh, spirit. Okay. Now, whiskey can't be distilled over a certain proof. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's 150 proof. Okay. Might, I might be off on that one. Mm -hmm. All of our whiskey gets distilled right around 125. Okay, okay. And you have your bourbon whiskey and your rye whiskey? Rye whiskey, So yes. what's the difference between the two? So bourbon has to be 51% corn at the minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, rye has to be 51% rye at the minimum. Okay. They're both uh, barrel aged mm -hmm. in whiskey barrels. Uh, they both have to go into new American oak barrels. Interesting. Okay, so I know you have here um, a couple of your bottles and you have the Indiana um, whiskey here. So what makes it Indiana? So. <laughs> Rye whiskey recently got its own uh, category. If it's mm -hmm. made in Indiana, it's called an Indiana rye whiskey. Okay. Uh, this one in particular is Engine 765 rye mm -hmm. whiskey. Uh, it's actually a smoked rye whiskey. We yes. used uh, 50 pounds of oak smoked wheat to give it kind of like this real nice butterscotch finish. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's got a little bit of smoky hints on it. Very smooth. Very smooth. It's funny when you said the smoky because when I smelled it first, I could smell. You can get you can get the heat that's on it. Yes. Yeah. Anything special when you do a tasting of this type of liquor? I mean, you swirl it around a so little bit. So you want to swirl it around <laughs> and look for the legs. See if it actually. Oh, yes. Okay. Just like in wine, you want to see mm -hmm. if it's got a nice body on it. Yes, and the legs is when you swirl it, the liquor sticks to the side of the glass and then slowly crawl down, right? Yep, and then the yes. other thing is for whiskey, your first sip is always going to be a little bit harsher. You've got to acclimate your palate to be able to start picking out flavors. So that first sip is always just going to be kind of to get in there. <clears throat> Yes, and I could tell it's smooth because I don't drink straight liquor. <laughs> I like a cocktail, so that well, it, it didn't, you know, I was good. So that's wonderful. Okay, tell me about the next one. So the next one is our jalapeno infused vodka. It's called the Hint of Hala. It's, uh, it's pretty popular right now. Uh, it goes great in a Bloody Mary. Okay. We actually use real jalapenos. We'll cut mm. them up. We'll char half of them to actually... Uh, get rid of some of that capsaicin so that you can actually taste the jalapeno okay. when you're drinking it. It'll have so a good. slight heat on it. Mm. Okay, yeah, but it's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelming. The idea yes. was to get enough of that spice to come through that you knew you were drinking, you know, a jalapeno infused vodka, but we wanted to actually taste mm -hmm. like jalapenos. And it's so flavorful. I feel like if you make this into a cocktail, you don't have to add a whole lot. The natural taste is very potent. The whole good. reason that, that yeah. vodka came out is because of one of our signature cocktails here, the Heaven oh. and Hell cocktail. Okay. Uh, they always 
they used jalapeno juice in it mm -hmm. and actually charred a jalapeno and put it in there mm -hmm. and we, you know it was insanely popular so we were like well let's see what we can do on the on the bottle outside yes. to help out with making those cocktails. Well, that's a perfect segue over to the specialty cocktails that you have here for me to taste. So let's start with the heaven and hell you say? Heaven and hell. Okay so I just tasted it as just the liquor. Is it this one I'm assuming? Yes. Okay so tell me all about this cocktail. One and a half ounces of hint of hala, okay. uh, a half an ounce of passion fruit, and two ounces of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Tangy. I got the lemon on arrival. Hmm. It really does play down the jalapeno. Yes. In it, like it's there, but it's not super spicy. So it's a mild. It's a mild spice. Summery yes. drink. Very, it's very, yeah, much very so. refreshing. So next, we'll just do the the Bloody Mary. That is also made with the okay. hint of hala. Oh. Uh, you can use regular vodka. You that. can use the hint of hala, and then the, that one in particular is just made with our house made um, Bloody Mary juice. But you can use any Bloody Mary mix. Okay. So Bloody Mary with a hint of hala. So typically bl Bloody Marys are made with vodka? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. I like that. I'm not a Bloody Mary drinker, but I really like this. That's really good. So people enjoy Bloody Marys at brunch and if they have a little headache maybe it's supposed to it's great for the morning <laughs> hair was it the hair, hair of the dog, of the dog yes <laughs> that's good and it's not too spicy you know i'm not it's just it's giving you a little tint of, of heat yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay love that i could actually drink that that's good okay and then what's last over here so the the last one is an old-fashioned made with the engine 765. Oh, it's made with just a little bit of demi syrup and um two dashes of bitters. And you were saying something interesting about how whiskey gets its color, so share with me. So whiskey doesn't get its color coming off the still. It actually will extract that color from uh, barrel aging. Mm. So you, you'll pick up the caramel tones, you'll pick up a lot of great flavors from that barrel. Vanilla is one of them. Mm -hmm. But that's where the color for the whiskey actually comes from, mm -hmm. is from that barrel. So is it the darker the whiskey, the longer it's been in the barrel? Essentially, yes. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. You say this is just old-fashioned, a, a classic? That's a classic old-fashioned. Classic old-fashioned. Now, most old-fashions nice. are made with uh, bourbon, but you can also do them with rye whiskey. Yes, yes. I like that, that's really good. All right, well, that's so interesting. And so tell me, when people come in, are they able to actually purchase your bottles here? Yes, yeah, so on the production side, we mm -hmm. actually have a bottle shop and all the bottles will be out. Uh, as a matter of fact, some of the bottles like Engine 765 that don't go to distribution will mm -hmm. be in the bottle shop. Uh, okay. That's our artisan series. They're only sold here. Okay, well, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you. For giving us that interesting information and tasting these delicious cocktails. So if you would like to taste the cocktails and learn more and take a tour of their distillery, then check out Three Rivers Distilling Company. We'll have their website listed below, and we'll be right back.